we've been meditating on the 10 lepers and we saw how nine did not return back to Jesus. But there was that one leper who returned back to Jesus with a loud voice glorifying God. That means he was not ashamed of his testimony, but boldly declared what God has done in his life. But he did not just end with a testimony. You know, sometimes we get blessed, we get healed, we testify about what God has done and then continue doing things our own ways. But when you look into verse 16, it says, and fell down, this, that means this one leper fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. He fell down on his face, that means he humbled himself, went down on his knees, okay, fell down to his feet, that means he worshipped Jesus. He connected to Jesus, that bleeding woman who was suffering for 12 years, she received a healing and quietly wanted to move away. But what happened is Jesus waited there till he could touch her, till he could minister to her, till he could work upon her life. So what we see is Jesus then saying to that woman, go, your faith has made you whole. The word whole means sozo, a complete restoration. We see this man, he, uh, he's blessed, he's delivered, he's healed. But he does not end there. He moves one step further. He begins to worship Jesus. You, you and I need to understand it is not only just receiving a healing, but we also need to be people who testify. Not just testify, but we need to move one step ahead. Be worshippers of Jesus. Go into a deeper walk with God. And not just that, we also need to live with a grateful heart. Have a grateful heart unto the Lord because what we were and what we are today, what a mess. This leper, before he was healed, he was an outcast in society, rejected by people, rejected by his own household, rejected by religion, rejected by himself, I believe. But now he's restored. What a restoration. Restored, his restoration means society accepts him back. His family would accept him back. He would accept himself back. Not just restored in society, but also restored, I believe, with a job. He would definitely get a good job once again. That means he's financially restored. One touch from God and changes everything. This man was healed. His entire life was changed. But it, but it does not end there the same way. When God touches our life and we experience transformation, it does not end there. We need to begin to worship Him and we need to live with a grateful heart unto the Lord. That we need to be people that acknowledge whatever we are is because of who God is. Because if God would have not touched us, we would have been in that same old mess. Let us worship Him. Let us be grateful to Him. God bless you.